The rotor brush is probably the most important new feature in After Effects CS5. With rotor brush, you draw just general brush strokes saying, here's the foreground, here's the background, and rotor brush will automatically detect the edge between that foreground and background. You don't have to carefully draw a mask edge, you don't have to carefully paint along the edge, it will find the difference between foreground and background for you. What's really important is that it does it across multiple frames. You don't need to do this every single frame yourself. It looks at the foreground and background, does motion prediction following things as it moves from frame to frame, and adjusts the matte boundaries to follow that motion in the shot. And it's pretty easy to make corrections in case it makes a mistake. Now, rotor brush is not magic. It's not going to give you a perfect matte the first time. You are going to need to do a little bit of work and cleaning up edges and correcting it where it doesn't follow. And you will probably need to clean some stuff up later on post, add paint strokes, or add mask shapes. But it's going to be a lot faster than having to hand cut a mask or hand paint an object every single frame of a long shot. So let me show you how you use rotor brush. I kind of break the process into three steps. One, come up with a good base reference frame. Really define the foreground and the background to give rotor brush good information to work from. Two, propagate that information across all the frames in the clip following all the motion that takes place in the clip. Then three, refining that mat, cleaning up the edges, taking motion blur on edges into account, decontaminating colors spill around the edges, and other cleanups you need to do. And after you've done that, you can have a lot of fun. So let's dive in.